Bismillahirrahmanirrahim. Assalamu alaikum. In this video, we are going to start exercise 3.5. We have to deal with anti logarithm. If log x is equals to y, then x is called the anti logarithm of y, and it is written as x is equals to anti log of y. I am starting question number 1 of exercise 3.5. Find the value of x if log x is given as 1.7505. First of all, we have to write like x is equals to anti log of 1.7505. We have to look for this mantissa part. We have to go for 0 0.75 in anti log table then for column 0. We have to go for this 0 0.75 and for column 0, 5, 6, 2, 3. We have to write this value in the rough column, 5, 6, 2, 3. Then we have another 5 in the end. So we have to go for mean difference table and we have to search for 5. In the same row, 0.75 we have to go for uh, this time for mean difference table and we have to go for this 5 that gives 7 to us. So, we have to add this 7 to this value and the answer will be 0, 3, 6, 5. So, our x will be equal to 5, 6, 3, 0. Now, this characteristic gives us a hint where we have to put the decimal. So, as the characteristic is positive, whenever the characteristic is positive, we have to add 1 to 8 for putting the decimal. So, 1 plus 1 will be 2. We have to put the decimal after 2 digits from the left hand side. So, 1, 2 decimal should be placed here. 56.30, this is the answer. Now we are doing question number 2 of exercise 3.4. First we have to write it like anti log x is equals to anti log of 0 0.6609. Okay. So for finding this one we have to go for the table. Now for in the anti log table we have to go for 0 0.66 that is present here than for 0. The answer is 4571. We have to write this 4571 in the rough column. Then we have to go for this 9 in the mean difference table. In the same row of 0.66, we have to go for the mean difference table and search for the value of 9 here. In the same row of 0.66, we have to go for value of 9 in mean difference table that is 10 here. 10 to this number okay after adding 10 we are getting 1 8 5 4 so we have to write x is equals to 4 5 8 1 but this is not the answer we have to go for characteristic characteristic is 0 so we have to add 1 as the characteristic is positive okay so we have to add 1 it will be equal to 1 so we have to place the decimal after one digit from the left hand side so our answer will be 4.581 now we are doing this question number 5 we have to write first x is equals to anti log of 0 0.009 we have to take this 00, 0 first and go for this 0 column in the anti log table so value 0 0 and in the 0 column we have 1000 to write this value 1000 here in the rough column then we have to go for this 9 in the mean difference table these are the mean difference table these are the mean difference table we have to go for value 9 the, uh, the, it gives 2 to us so we have to add 2 here and we get 1002 as the answer. So we have to write x is equals to 1 
zero zero two. But we have to put the decimal characteristic as zero, so we have to add one to it. It will be one. So we have to put after one digit from the left hand side. This will be the answer. Uh, question. Now I am doing question number seven, in which the characteristic is negative. So we have to do the same solution for th this. Anti log x is equals to anti log of 1.6132, but this time characteristic is negative. So first we have to find this. Uh, we first we have to go for this mantissa part and look at the anti log table. First we have to go for this row 0.61, and in this row we have to go for value three. So it is four one zero two. So we have to write this value in the rough column. We have written this four one zero two in the rough column. Then we have to go for this two in the mean difference table. In the same row of point six one, we have to go for two in the mean difference table. That gives two to us. So we have to add this value. I am adding this two. To this value, the answer is four zero one four. So our x will be equal to four one zero four. Now, where we have to put the decimal, as the characteristic is minus one, whenever we have a negative characteristic, we have to subtract one from it. So, as the characteristic is one here, we have to one uh, subtract one from it. So it equals to zero. The number that we get after subtracting one from the characteristics will tell us the number of zeros that follow the decimal point. So here it is zero. So we don't have to put any zero after the decimal point. We just have to put the decimal point here and put a zero before the decimal point. Okay. So our answer will be zero point four one zero four. Now I am doing another question with this negative characteristics. So again, write x is equals to anti log of seven point double zero three eight. We have to go for this mantissa part in the anti log table. So I am going for this point double zero and for three. It is one double zero seven. First we have to write this in the rough column. I wrote this number in the rough column. Then we have to go for this eight in the mean difference table. So again, in the same row of point double zero, we have to go for eight. That gives two to us. Okay, so we have to go for eight. That gives two to us. We have to add this value. So I am adding two to this one double zero seven. And answer is nine zero zero one. So we have to write one double zero nine. As you can see, the characteristic is negative. So we have to subtract one from this seven. So after subtracting one from this seven, we get six. So we have to put. Six zeros after the decimal. We have to put. We have to write. Six zero immediately after the decimal, so we have to write it like one, two, three, four, five, six, and then put the decimal and this zero. It is equals to x. Now this is the end of exercise three point five.